recently as 2008, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton ran against each other for president, both claiming to believe the long-held notion that marriage is the sacred union of one man and one woman. Now, in 2016, not only has such a view gone out of vogue among the so-called elite classes, but it is said to be downright hateful and intolerant. Of course, traditional marriage is the biblical position and is upheld by thousands of years of human history. And yet, if you dare adhere to the view that President Obama held as recently as four years ago, you are an intolerant, bullying bigot. The idea is silly on the face of it, and yet no small amount of effort is being expended to enforce that notion and to do so with stiff fines and jail sentences. In reality, however, this is merely victory by intimidation. Are we to believe that over 100 million Americans who believed in traditional marriage suddenly switched their viewpoint overnight as President Obama did? Or is it more likely that a false consensus is being portrayed in the media and backed up with brute force in order to intimidate you into compliance? Perhaps the greatest indictment of the American church in modern decades is how easily it has been shamed into virtual silence. A societal change this momentous does not occur without major capitulation on the part of Christians whose incorrect theology has taught them to retreat in the name of spirituality. The apostles and the early church leaders often paid for their beliefs with their lives. It's time for Christians in this era to stand and be counted among those who will defend the truth.